Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan42 and in this video I'm just going to show you what I've been up to the last couple of weeks and it's this thing right here. Okay, so if you are wondering what this is, this is the underside of the Spot Micro. Now I'm showing you the underside because this is actually the best side of the Spot Micro right now. As you can see, the top side is a jumble of uh, cables or a jungle of cables. I can't, yeah. Um, so the back leg, these things are all servo motors that run uh, and <laughs> well, hopefully allow this uh, quadruped to stand up and move around. Now, I've not actually got around to fully testing it yet. I just thought I'd give an introduction to this thing so far. So. Um, yeah, without further ado, here's a very quick showing of it. Okay, so this is the head, as you can see, it has a little camera in here, there's a little uh, area here for the light to come through, and then there's a sensor here and a sensor here. Now these are distance sensors, and the camera is obviously for recognizing what's in front of it. The light is just uh, a status light for the board that has the camera. Okay, so up till now I had the AC on. Uh, if the audio is bad, it's because of that, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is the head, and it all it has them two boards in it, and it has the um, the vision board, which is the ESP32 camera. Now, moving on, you have the shoulders. You have these two shoulder bits here. The motor here and here allows it to move this way, so it goes up and down. Uh, the motor here, which you can see right there, kind of allows it to move up and down. There's another motor down here, which allows the bottom bit to extend as well. Can't extend it, obviously, because the table's in the way. Um, now, yeah, as you can see, there is a massive jumble of cables here. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'll just move on a little bit more. We'll get to the, lot, the middle bit in a, in a sec. This is the butt of the uh, dog, or the Spot Micro. As you can see, we've got a little button here. Just turn this on. We've got a little button here. If you press this button, it does actually turn the dog on, but I've not programmed it to do anything yet, so it won't do anything once you do that. Anyway, uh, this is actually a tray. This is the latest version of the dog, uh, and there is the switch with a little ring that I printed myself. There's a ring on both sides, and it just acts as a flange because I, I bought the wrong size button for here. Um, I can put a thing on the button so that it um, lights up when it's on, but I thought that would just waste power most likely, so I, I thought I'd leave that off. You know when it's on because this is in, and you know when it's off because that is out. It's not hard to tell. There's two sensors in here as well. One is a voltmeter and the other is a uh, amp meter, so you can tell if uh, too much power or if not enough power is coming from the battery. Uh, I'm guessing that there's a way that you can get it to alert you somehow with the software <laughs> uh, as to if it is uh, if it needs to be recharged or something like that. Um, hopefully, that will be able to tell. Uh, now, on the bottom bit under here, there's a battery that's res that's restrained by three bol uh, bars that go across like here, here, and at the other end. Um, the cable comes up and it also connects through the, the two prong um, cable, I think it's a Dean clip or something like that. I think that was, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Uh, and the balance charger is here. Now I don't have a balance charger yet, but um, I am going to be getting one probably today uh, once my friend drops one off because he said he had a spare one for me and that's pretty helpful. Um, so yeah, the power comes in. Uh, I'll give a, a brief overview of what actually happens on this. Uh, it has a lot of different sensors and stuff, but I'll give you a brief uh, overview from the battery. So the battery comes in, the power goes in here, connects these things together in here to check the power to the switch, uh, no, to the switch, sorry, then to check the power. Then it comes out into this, which is a um, power distributor, I guess, or something like that. That connects through the cables uh, into two different things. Uh, one of them being this board, which is a um, probably a higher voltage board, which is for the servo motors. As you can see, all the servo motors connect in here um, and into the uh, switch, 
or the the relay. Uh, it also connects to this little board here. This board is actually for uh, power conversion from whatever voltage it, it takes in down to five volts. So that goes from the power distributor here to the rail or the bus, uh, which I will show in a sec. The This switch also connects through some of the pins at the back to the ESP32, which is under here. God damn, I, I need to sort the cables out on this a little bit. I would uh, I would like to do that eventually, but it's just, it is really hard to do <laughs> with all these cables and all the different sizes of the cables. It's uh, pretty, di pretty difficult. There is the other part of the um, ESP camera board here, uh, which is the Bluetooth module. Uh, and then we have the bus here. So all the purple cables go into this bit here. Uh, I've tried to keep it nice and color coded so that I can actually see what is uh, going on here. So you've got the purple and the black on the right side. That is, well, that is that part of the bus. You've got the red and blacks, uh, Sorry, the purple and blacks are 5 volts, the red and blacks are 3 volts, or 3.3 3 or something like that. And then there's another bit in between, where there's just two little pin prong bits, and I think they will both go to the outside. So the top cover, which I have printed and prepped, which is right here, the top cover, am I zoomed? Yes, the top cover, which is right here, will have a screen here, and then the gaps here for the stuff, and it will go there. No, it won't. It will go there. Um, and obviously this and the two holes there, the uh, two uh, USB connectors there, will connect through that bit. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't my design. This is the design of the guy who made it, <laughs> who I will put a link to in the description below. If anyone wants to build it along with me, um, you can do. There's not very much software wise for this so far. Um, so I'm looking into that part now. Uh, I want to get it at least so that I can test the servo motors and make sure things are actually moving. Um, I'm not sure if I should probably try charging it first. Um, I probably should. Um, but yeah, uh, this, well, actually just the one last bit here. So down, oh man, you can, it's really hard to, to get this part on, on video. But under here, under the under this board, you have the ESP32, dev kit C32D or something like that, where it is. Uh, and that just connects it all together. That is the brain and the heart of this whole thing. Actually, I'll say that's the brain, this is the heart, because that's where the power comes from. That's where the thinking's done. Um, it has a uh, its own storage, it's got ROM, uh, and it is able to, well, it's already connected to this port here. So if I need to do any modifications onto it, I can plug my PC into this port here and I can do modifications onto it. I don't know what I would be able to do with it anyway because I uh, don't actually know the boundaries and the limitations of this board yet. So this is my next big thing to look into. I just thought I'd say that this has taken me so far, a, probably a good couple of, uh, couple of months to get all this together. Uh, the 3D printing was nice and easy to do. Um, there's a nice community on Discord that I'm now a part of that I'm trying to keep up with. Um, and I would like to see this project go a bit further and see what we can do and see, I don't know, if we can get some image recognition up with the uh, ESP32 uh, camera and stuff like that. I thought that would be pretty good because uh, the ESP32 does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. So uh, there should be quite a bit of possibility you can do with this. I, th I think it would be quite interesting to have um, this thing walking around. Oh, I do also have one of these little NeoPixel ring, which goes on this uh, this four little pins here somehow. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's going to have a cool light on its back. Uh, he'll have a little screen which goes in here, which I do have as well, which I've not just I've just not got around to fitting it in yet. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's about it actually. Um, if you guys are working on this as well, let me know in the comment section below. It would be cool to speak to anyone else who has any um, 
experience with the software of this or if they are willing to do like a walkthrough with me I might do a video of that once I learn it and once I figure it out I might show you how to get this all uploaded and stuff because uh, I don't actually know myself and it would be good to know it is something that I would like to really kind of get behind um, and I, I think this has a lot of possibility uh, to do some cool stuff and, and and be uh, maybe like a self-charging pet if you could get it to, to charge itself or go to a charging point around the house or something like that, that'd be pretty good. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.